Je suis un professionnel du clapping. Voilà, Daryl Shaw, Head of Coaching and Partnership. The floor is yours for your presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So can you hear me okay? Is that yep. Yeah, fantastic. Hi, um, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for uh, turning up for our uh, talk around British Canoe and Delivery Partner Scheme. Uh, my name is Lee Pooley. I'm the uh, Director of Coaching and Qualifications for British Canoeing. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Daryl Shaw. I'm Head of Coaching and Partnerships for British Canoeing. So um, what we're going to do is just go through, uh, I'm going to be asking Daryl some questions around the uh, British Canoe and Delivery Partner Scheme. And... Um, and as always, if people have got any questions, then uh, then please uh, please sort of just ask. We're not um, we're not uh, precious about people asking questions. So uh, just put your hands up, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll come and talk to you. So um, first of all, uh, I think we're all aware of um, the significant growth of paddle sports uh, internationally. But I think um, if Daryl, if you can give us a bit of a, a sort of a, an overview of what's happening within the UK itself. Yeah, thanks, Lee. Uh, I think it, you know, it can't be a, a big surprise to anyone, but over the last two years, we've seen significant growth in paddle sports in the UK. The number of people participating in paddle sports um, more than once in a in a monthly period, and we've actually seen that in 2020, uh, we had a significant increase from four million people uh, participating in paddle sports to 2020. Uh, throughout the pandemic, it grew and there were 5 million people paddling in the UK through 2020 uh, and in 2021 in, in the sort of the, the, the last calendar year, we had just over 7.2 million people getting involved with paddle sports, canoeing, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding in the UK. So... A real significant growth, and um, one of the areas that uh, probably want to sort of, sort of tap into is um, how is that how is that um, related to people visiting British canoeing and the Go Paddling site? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, British canoeing uh, realised that we didn't have a very easy accessible um, presence to the general paddling public in the UK. We were seen as a national governing body, quite quite stuffy, um, uh, uh, concerned with competition and developing coaches, but not really having a voice or a, a presence for the general paddling public. And um, that led in 2019 to the launch of Go Paddling, and Go Paddling very quickly became our um, um, presence for the general public online. We have our Go Paddling website, which is full of uh, useful ideas and articles for the general paddling public, looking for advice and guidance. But it's also the home of Paddle Points, which is an interactive digital map system that allows the paddling public to find places to paddle find where you can launch, where you can land. It highlights whether there are safety concerns, where the local pub is. You know, it, it's a, vari a really useful uh, tool to paddlers in the UK. Um, since 2019, it, it has grown in the amount of unique users that access it each year. And there are now um, one million paddlers accessing Go Paddling and Paddle Points per year. So uh, one of the one of the things that's new for British Canoeing in the last 18 months has been the development of a delivery partner scheme, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Um, I think what's really important is if you can give a bit of a an, an overview um, of the delivery partner scheme. Yeah, so the, the delivery partner scheme was launched in April last year, so it's just coming up on being 18 months old. 
and it, it's very different to any sort of relationship that British canoeing has had before with the commercial paddle sports market. And and when I talk about commercial paddle sports, I'm talking about uh, anyone that's running higher from a beach concession, uh, someone who maybe has a, a trailer of canoes and kayaks who are running uh, taster sessions, starter sessions, coaching courses, right the way through to large volunteer organizations or commercial outdoor education center type businesses. So the delivery partner scheme was something very different. We wanted it to be a partnership and something that provided um, value and uh, a connection with the sports governing body in the United Kingdom to those commercial paddle sports providers. Through the delivery partner scheme, uh, any organization that signs up to it has um, uh, their uh, business, their services promoted through Go Paddling. Their locations where they do business are on the Paddle Points mapping software. They're able to access our systems and our processes so that they can advertise jobs. Uh, they can organize certification, have their uh, business logos on that certification at the point of issue um, and also do a number of other things like purchase Canal and River Trust licensing where it's necessarily uh, on English and Welsh waterways. And this is all self-service 24-7, 365 days of the year, including being able to do things like check their staff qualifications and statuses are valid and up to date. And it allows a delivery partner to go into their portal, update the information that's there, and it's live on the Go Paddling site immediately so they can manage an, their presence within that website. So there's, there's huge amounts of benefits for um, a commercial passport provider to, to get from the delivery partner scheme. But can you give us the sort of the five five areas that are, are used mostly by by delivery partners at the present uh i mean ab absolutely top number one on the list is the advertising through the gad the, the go paddling platform uh and um and being able to be advertised on on the paddle points uh number two is absolutely the staff checks the being able to check the validity of the people that they're employing uh, and then after that, it kind of depends on the business, the business size, and, and how they operate. So some of our larger partners operate in lots of sites all over the UK or further afield. Uh, so they use what we call the child site function. So uh, where that's the case, they're able to set up that they have a centre in London, a centre in Glasgow, a centre in Wales, um, and have each of those businesses or locations represented with their own web page, their own paddle points uh, locations. So those, those are probably the top two. Uh, I think after that, it's absolutely certification um, and uh, job advertising uh, would come in as, as three and four. Uh, and then number five is probably the partner benefits because we do have, you know, at this stage, as of today, 383 commercial partners that are part of the delivery partner scheme. And that's quite attractive to service providers in the UK. So um, our delivery partners are able to work with in our insurers and get, um, uh, you know, assure insurance cover that meets the needs of their business. They're able to get discounts from computer suppliers so that they can run their business. And it's that purchasing power of the group uh, that is also probably number five on the list of benefits that delivery partners use. So you talk about all the benefits for delivery partners. What is in it, what's in it for British Canoeing? What's the benefits for British Canoeing to put a scheme together like this? Um, I think, you know, as a, as a national governing body, probably one of the hardest things for us is knowing who is taking people paddling. And for us, number one has absolutely been the connection to be able to understand how much commercial activity is taking place, who's doing it, where they're doing it, and for us to be able to communicate um, with those 
business owners, with those heads of paddle sports, and to be able to share our knowledge, share um, our experience where it's appropriate, but also share the things that uh, a governing body finds out about first, such as sources of funding or product recalls, which ultimately uh, allows those commercial paddle sport providers to operate their businesses more effectively and, and safely because they're finding out that information as soon as, as it's available. So here at the Paddle Sports Show, um, there's a significant amount of international presence. Um, so how do you see the relevance of the delivery partner scheme to, to, to this particular audience and to the international the community? Yeah, I mean, it's a really good question. And I think, you know, this is, this is our first foray into talking to our, our international uh, friends. And um, it's really interesting that the delivery partner scheme, that 383, is not just businesses that are based in the UK. So we already have a number of delivery partners that are based in Mexico, North America, Canada, France, Norway, uh, Malta, just, just to name a few off the top of my head. Um, so we are seeing that international hire companies, guides, activity providers are seeing themselves in the delivery partner scheme and they are seeing opportunities there to become part of um, uh, part of that uh, delivery partner family, but also to be able to advertise through the Go Paddling platform. One of the things that we are finding really clearly is that UK paddlers trust the delivery partner brand. And we've seen that growth of 5 million to 7.2 million. And that's a lot of that's happened quite locally. So paddlers are exploring their local waterways. Maybe they've purchased their first canoe, their first kayak, their first paddleboard. And they've used the canal just down the road, the, the river, the lake, a few miles further away, maybe gone to the coast uh, during the summer. But what we're starting to see now is the general paddling public is starting to look for places to go abroad. They're on holiday in Spain and they want to hire paddle boards or other paddle sports equipment while they're there. They're traveling to France and they want to find a guide who can help them explore safely the environment around um, where they're staying for their holidays. We're also seeing lots of UK uh, paddlers who travel for business, who whilst they're away on business, want to take in a sea kayak trip in the United States or wherever it might be. So people are coming to us and they're saying, well, where can I hire equipment in the country that I'm going to? How can I find a guide in the country that I'm going to? How can I explore and continue to enjoy paddle sport when I'm outside of the UK? So hopefully what we've done there is given everyone a little bit of a taster really of what the delivery partner scheme is all around uh, all about and um, and some of the benefits that we'd like to explore for the international market so if so daryl if anyone needs any more information wants to chat to us what do they do yeah so we're we're here for the show um all week we're you know we're looking forward to talking to lots and lots of people we're also here uh, again on the stage tomorrow um, but we are in uh, booth E4 uh, if folks want to come and find us and talk to us or you can scan the QR code that's on the screen at the moment and it'll give you uh, my contact details. Um, but in essence, get, get in touch. Let's, let's have a chat and see what opportunities we might be able to unlock together.